Remember Sam Brinton, the cross-dressing weirdo that was in charge of all the nuclear waste in the United States? He got arrested three different times in three different airports for stealing, well, like $10,000 worth of women's clothes that he then wore even to work. He just got sentenced. Wait till you hear how much time he's going to serve. Speaking about good behavior, you mentioned it last week. I had to pull this story for you. You remember Sam Brinton, the <laughs> Biden official that was in charge of all nuclear waste in the United States who. Yeah, I try to forget about him, but yeah. <laughs> had this proclivity of when he would fly around on government business, he would stalk ladies with, you know, nice outfits and then go steal their luggage and then wear it in public. Not once, not twice, three times got busted and arrested. Well, and I'm still uh, really quick before you go. I'm still trying to figure out how in the world did he know which luggage to take? I, I, my understanding is that he would check out ladies on the plane who were very stylish and then somehow get their luggage before they could grab it. I don't know how he identified it. I, 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 I don't know the intricacies of this. Nefarious right, but, plot. I mean, but I mean, seriously, if, if he's either. He's working with somebody. Maybe he maybe he's getting to the airport and he just standing by the the you know where you check in your bags. Maybe he's just observing them checking in their bags to figure go. it out. You know what? That's really smart. That's probably how he did it. Uh, I mean, I'm because I'm trying to. I'm you know I'm really wondering. I mean, did they not ask these questions? <laughs> like, like, I want to well, know how did he know which bag to target. Well, listen to this. He in one suitcase, it was worth more than nine thousand dollars because it was a famous designer lady. I remember and those dresses are worth a fortune. I, I think that was uh, the nail in the coffin for him. Well, listen, he was facing twenty years in federal prison. Remember, three offenses, and these are federal crimes because it's interstate, yeah, it's at the airport, transportation, yep. and they're in airports. Want to know how long he got sentenced to after being convicted three times? And it's supposed to be 25 years, right? Or more. 25 or more. So it probably, knowing Biden's DOJ and the phone calls that they made, and, it's, and if, if, we're, if we're on the money here, probably had a liberal judge and, you know, liberal everything going on. They probably had some parties with him back in the chambers. Maybe three months. <laughs> wow. Wow. No time in prison. Zero zilch nothing so he did that he he so he i guess i'm look i don't know i went there so maybe him and the judge had a huck two time together <laughs> oh man no, I, I can't get it out of my head sorry <laughs> uh, and you know barry this is again this is just showing our society collapsing you have criminals committing acts and they let them go and they're the first ones to constantly scream no one is above the law, but yet they're breaking the law and nothing happens to them. And then they bring up all of these fraudulent charges. They felt they give they give one person 34 counts of fraudulent of conviction, felony conviction, fraudulent, mind you. And they said that's real. But when you actually have someone actually committing a felony, they get off. There's nothing to see here. Society's collapsing, Barry. We're sitting here talking about this right now. And if maybe, maybe six months from now, if we, if we make it there, you know, or five months, whatever it is now, if we make it there, I think our country, our society is going to be dramatically different. It's going to be worse than what it is right now.